In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how we can create this real-time dashboard for a MySQL database, how fast it is and how simple it is. Here's my SQL workbench where I have my three tables in a database called YStock. I have a OHLC, a quote and a stock table containing some stock information. I've got my SQL dashboards newly opened. I've added a data table. I can select all of the stocks and then I can select the stock for just Amazon. Instantly updates from the database. I now add a form to allow user controls. Within that form I want to allow the user to select stocks from the distinct list of symbols. So I, I dynamically pull in the distinct list of symbols into that drop down box. I can set the label. I then set the key. The key is the, the argument that we can then use within other queries. So you can see currently it's not changing. If I go to the data table, replace that with $STK, that now updates in real time as the user would select different stocks. I want to add another chart. So this time I want the date and the adjusted close from my OHLC table, where the stock is for whatever the user has currently chosen. Again, if I change the stock, you can see it updates instantly. Light theme, dark theme, there's also a pastel theme. I want to add a, yet another chart. Notice how quickly I can lay out the various charts by dragging and dropping windows to where I want it. In this case, I've created a series of tab windows. So this time I have a real updating quote price coming in from the market. I can label these windows by simply changing the title in the box. So in this case I'm going to call it quotes today. That then becomes the title of the tab. I can do similar for my adjusted price history chart. I'm going to add a slightly different type of chart now an OHLC or candlestick chart. So I select the open high low close from the OHLC table for the particular stock that the user has chosen I'm going to limit it to the last 120 days of history. Finally, I hide the form controls and I set the layout to look exactly how I want it. At this stage, I could then save my file and anybody could come along, open the file and get the latest information from the MySQL database. As you can see, it's extremely simple and very quick to create an SQL dashboard for your MySQL database.